When you hear winter sport, often people think of thick jackets and thick pants. And that is of course logic, because you don't want to get cold on the slopes and you want to be good protected. Good technical jackets that also have ventilation zippers under the armpits and a ski pass holder. But now what if you are skiing or snowboarding and you are arriving on a mountain and it is blue, no wind and it's just really warm. Then you are standing there with your thick jacket. And also if a jacket is breathing good, it is nice to be able to regulate your heat yourself. And that's why it's important to work with layers. We will show in this video how you can best do this. First of all, it is important to work with a good basis layer. A good basis layer fits well and it is made of technical material, so that the precipitation moisture can be well drained but you are still staying warm. It is really important to not wear cotton, because cotton gets very wet and you should not have that. If you have that basis layer, you can continue to expand with, for example, a pullover or a vest. And if it is now extremely cold, then choose both. The advantage then is, if you are too warm, then you are taking one layer off, and then you have the basis layer all right. Then we go further to the isolation layer. As for example, this down jacket. A down jacket is really an isolation layer, because of the down, of course. And a down jacket you can also wear as an outer layer on the days where there is no precipitation, but it's really an isolation layer. The benefit of this down jacket is that you can fold it to very small and put it easily in your backpack. And after it is important to put the outer layer on top of it. I just put on the soft shell set. The soft shell set is really the outer layer, so you put that over all the layers. And a soft shell set gives you a lot of freedom of movement. The name says it already, it is really soft material with fleece on the inside. And you can combine endlessly with the different layers. You're going skiing or snowboarding in an area where there is much precipitation, then you better go for a hard shell set. A hard shell set is an outer layer just like a soft shell set, and you can combine them with all the layers below. The big difference to the soft shell set is that hard shell is more water resistant, and therefore ideal when you have days with much precipitation. Please note that the hard shell set is not padded, and he has no fleece on the inside like the soft shell, so a hard shell you always have to combine it with layers beneath. We hope you have something to do with this video and that you can go forward with it. If you still have questions, click on our website for more information or contact our customer service.